So this is the slimmest iPhone battery case available. This will fit the iPhone 6, 6S, and the iPhone 7. So let's take it out. There's not much that you get in the packaging. It's just the case. It doesn't come with the lightning connector either. The main selling point of this case is how slim it is. So if you compare it to a regular iPhone and with the, with the case on, it's not that much fatter. You know, maybe a slightly thicker case, but overall, pretty, pretty slim. And it's surprisingly light. It's actually a very, very light case. Most battery cases tend to be very bulky, very heavy. This is light and surprisingly slim. So let's take the iPhone out of this case. This is an iPhone 6. It is compatible with an iPhone 7 as well. The camera cutout will fit the camera of an iPhone 7. So easy install. You just slide it in, pop it in. Right now, this is just a case. This will just protect the phone. It's not charging the battery. Well, that's the beauty of this case. See, most battery cases have a very, very thick chin, and the chin is designed to have the lightning connector integrated, so you need it. You need to have a thick chin, because otherwise, how are you gonna charge the phone? This phone does not have wireless charging. Beauty of this case is that connector is removable. It's right here on the side. You undo it, and then you plug it in. And that's it, our phone starts charging. It's very simple. You don't want it to charge, take it back out, put it back in on the side. Now, I will say this part of the phone is slightly bulky when you're holding it. This kind of digs into your hand a little bit. Uh, that is a bit of a con. The other con to this case, you can see that right here, the lip of the case is a little bit higher. Right here, it's lower. So the screen on this side, definitely less protected. The screen on this side, more protected. However, the lip of the case still does not go beyond the screen. So the screen is still vulnerable in this case. However, it does provide good protection from the sides and the back. It has a very good rubberized grip. Uh, it's not very slippery. It's actually pretty, pretty grippy. Okay, so how do we charge this case? Well, let's demonstrate. Here we have a lightning connector. You would charge your phone normally just by plugging it in. If you remove this, you'll see the charging connector. You plug it in and the case starts charging. Once all these lights turn green, your case is fully charged. This is not fully charged as of now. But the beauty of this case is this. If you plug it in like this, now both the case and the phone are charging. So you can just leave this in all the time if you want and just charge your case whenever you want to at night. And that way you've essentially almost doubled the life of your iPhone every day. So I turned this phone off last night at about 0% charge and plugged this in and this was fully charged and I turned it on this morning and it's at 50%. So approximately that's what this battery is. This is half a battery. Now yesterday I was mentioning that this would be like having twice as much battery life. No, this is like having one and a half times as much battery life. So when you're done with the, when you're done with the charging, you can just pull this out and store it back in here and um, our case is fully depleted. But yeah, there's not much else to the case. I Would I recommend it? I don't think so. I wouldn't recommend it for several reasons. I don't like how it fits in my hand. I don't like this. It makes the case feel a, a lot fatter than it actually is. It makes it feel kind of bulky. You have to hold it like this. You can't. You can't have your pinky around this time. This this edge right here. Otherwise, it just feels like a really big case. I would spend. This case was fifteen dollars, and this was just cheap eBay case. I know you can get a thicker case for about twenty five thirty dollars that would have twice as much battery life. I don't think. I don't see myself daily using this case because of the lack of protection that it provides on the sides. Now, if I were to drop my phone and the screen cracks, what's the point of having a case? So I don't think I would like to use this case as a daily kind of usage. So when would I use this case? Say I'm going out camping, or I'm going to a concert, or I'm going to a theme park where I know I'm gonna be using my phone extensively for the whole day, I'm not gonna have easy access to you know, a, a plug, an outlet. What's the point of having a phone case that only gives you 50% battery life? At that, at that point, I might as well get a proper battery case that's a bit bulkier. Yeah, sure, but you're only going to be dealing with it for a day. This is also slightly bulky. I mean, yeah, it won't be as bulky as the other cases, but I can't daily drive this case. So for one day, 
usage, I'll just get a case that gives me two charges instead of half a charge. So I don't think I would recommend this case.